What's up guys, in today's short boatyard vlog I finish up this fiberglass lid, then I mix up some 4 to 1 high build primer, and to get ready to shoot it on this small tender console and this fiberglass piece I've been working on, and then I move to some white gloss polyurethane. All right, so if you go back to vlog 004, you would have seen me laying up this fiberglass lid uh, um, in this MDF mold here. So here I'm just using some plastic wedges to uh, loosen up the piece and pop it out of the mold. All right, came out pretty smooth. So this green stuff here is the PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, that I sprayed on the mold uh, just as a release agent. And uh, now I'm gonna move over the table and use my diamond um, tile cutting blade on a four and a half inch grinder to trim, rough trim these edges here. And then uh, I'll switch sander to do the final finishes on these edges. So I changed to a flap disc on the grinder just to start to do some of the more finer finishes here on the side just taking down the uh, lip on this lid and then I'm gonna switch again to do the final finishing so here I switched to the DA sander with a 60 grit disc and I'm just finishing up the edges smoothing everything out uh, removing any high spots uh, any loose pieces of glass uh, that might catch your finger and that'll be pretty much it and then a quick little test fit and that's it a wrap and ready to deliver to the customer to put into his boat all right so here i'm using some evercoat super build four to one um, uh, high build primer and i like to use this this is more of an automotive uh, style primer but um, I prefer this because the price is right this is about a hundred and twenty dollars a gallon it's kind of comparable to a Duratec um, but I like this particular primer because it has a, um, an exceptionally long um, pot life. So with the Duratec primers that are catalyzed with MEKP, they kick off super, super fast. And this stuff here has a pot life of, I think, 30 to 45 minutes, which makes it really nice when you're working in hot climates. All right, got the gun loaded up with primer, and here I'm just going to put two medium coats down, um, overlapping my passes about 50 to 60 percent. Alright, so first coat of primer down and everything looks pretty good, but it always turns up all the imperfections. So, you can see here, this was just some pinholes in my glasswork and it's hard to see in the camera. Some pinholes here and here, but these are easy fixes. The good part is this here looks looks pretty good i mean it's not perfect it's a little wavy but i mean for what i charge this guy it's going to be good enough so i need to clean up some of these corners here where i put my machine on the edge and left flat spots uh, but all in all this looks pretty good um, this here same thing got some pinholes here on the corner got some big chunks here it must have been from the grinder i didn't even see that before i started shooting the primer and some more pinholes which i'll fill with some of the 3m glazing putty but where i did my major repair it looks pretty smooth just more pinholes again um you know i think that was in the glass work and i think i have a little water in my in my compressor line i need to to get a better filter little piece there um there's going to be a binnacle mount here so all this is going to get covered but all in all came out pretty good so i'm just gonna let this dry a little bit more it's pretty dry right now it's in the direct sunlight um just gonna wet sand it probably with like 220 to start 
and then shoot another coat of primer on it. All right, so here I'm using a soft interface pad with 220 uh, on it, and I'm just going to use it to clean up the corners, uh, knock down any dust, dirt, things like that, and get it ready for a little bit more filler. All right, so here I'm just using some 3M glazing putty and I'm gonna be really careful with this. And then I'm gonna wet sand this off and go right to the polyurethane paint. I'm not gonna put any more primer on this piece. Um, it'll be good enough with just this glazing putty. All right, so I mixed up some white polyurethane paint. Um, it's a two to one mix, and I'm just gonna start by spraying a super light tack coat over this. You can see here, I'm just kind of misting it on just to create a tack coat, let that dry off, and then I'll come back and start laying down uh, my heavier wet coats overlapping about 50 to 60% on each pass. All right, so that's a wrap on the polyurethane. I actually used a Sherwin-Williams uh, 4800 high solids polyurethane paint for this, and I love this paint. Um, flows out so nice. I um, have a couple little pinholes there, but I know where the customer is going to be mounting this, and he's not going to see those. So this console came out pretty good as well. A little bit of orange peel you can see there uh, in the gloss, uh, but I can get that off real easy just with some wet sanding and buffing. And um, that's going to be a wrap for this short vlog. Appreciate it, guys. Um, if you missed any parts of this, um, these pieces, you can go back to vlog 004 and kind of catch up on some of that. Uh, but thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.